So I am here today to do a book review and the book that I'm going to be reviewing is God's War which is by Cameron Hurley. It's the first one in her series, it was also the first book that I read by Cameron Hurley and it is her debut book so lots of firsts for this one but I read this as the first book of the book Tubathon, another first, so yeah crazy and I definitely enjoyed this. I picked this up because of Eleanor and Elizabeth, both of them told me that it was a really really good book and that it was really exciting and quite unique and quite original and so of course when two great fantastic booktubers are recommending you a book that is kick-ass and awesome, why not? I picked it up, I picked it up and I'm very happy that I did because they have recommended a gem, it's a little gem and it does bode well for being the start of an excellent series and I'm going to tell you guys what it's all about because it's a little bit crazy but bear with me and I hope you guys enjoy it if you do end up picking it up because it's a little bit insane but I liked it a lot. So this book focuses on a character called Nyx, let me just say it's a really really cool name, I love the name Nyx, it's so interesting, N-Y-X. She is a Beldame or was a Beldame and she has a team of mercenaries. A Beldame is basically a really sort of elite assassin in this world, but this world is anything but normal. It's not a normal world. On this world there is a war that has been raging for a long time between two different nations. It's the war that is called the God's War, and thus religion, particularly Muslim religion, and beliefs are heavily, heavily central to the plot of this and the actual war that is ongoing. We follow Nyx and her team as she and her team attempt to kind of make a living within this world where this war is raging on and she has been cast out from the Beldames for something that she has done and so she's trying to sort of stay under the radar and, and make her own way through life but of course things get complicated and messy quite quickly and we follow her journey as she tries to stay under the radar for the rest of the book and what actually happens. The elements that I found most interesting about this book in particular was probably the world building. The world itself is really interesting because not only is it a battle crazed insane world where there's a constant never ending war that seems to have gone on for many many years, Hurley has also managed to create this world where everything runs off of bug machinery, bug powered machinery, so these kind of insectile creatures are the power source for this world. And we also have these really interesting elements like magicians and assassins, fairly stereotypical fantasy. It's kind of a blend of sci-fi and fantasy I would say. I think you definitely get thrown into things a little bit with the start of this book. I felt as though for the first 50 odd pages I was getting used to it all. I was being introduced to a lot of stuff. There were a crazy amount of things that you had to learn and had to figure out for this book and sort of try and understand like all of the different technology and just how different and how weird this world is compared to our modern day world. It's nothing like it but it's so crazy how weird it is and I really enjoyed getting to know it all. It was just a bit like being thrown straight into it all so be prepared to let it all sort of wash over you for the first 50 pages and then once you get used to what they're talking about and used to what they're saying you start to understand that oh this is what that means and stuff like that so it does all work in the end but you do have to sort of let it wash over you a little bit to begin with so that you get used to it. I found myself believing more and more in the world as she went further through even though it is really weird, it's really wacky, it's really crazy the way that she writes it, it seems like it's a normal world, it seems like it's plausible, which is insane when you think just how different it is and how foreign it is to us, but I really think she did a very good job of making it feel convincing and real. I also really like that we had a, a small focus on boxing within this world, which is something that Hurley is apparently interested in and has a bit of a past with. It's never really completely clear if there is real magic in the conventional sense of the word, if you can call that conventional when it's magic, or whether it is more genetic engineering, it could be a crossover of the two, and so it definitely seems to blur the lines between science fiction and fantasy, like I couldn't say which one I felt like this fell into more, it's, it's just SFF because it's both to me, so yeah, definitely really really cool blurring of the lines. And I really really enjoyed the bug magic craziness that was throughout the whole book. <laughs> On the whole I would say this is probably not a book that everyone is going to like because it does have a lot of original concepts and it's got a lot of ideas that might be a little bit hard to get your head around at first and it does take some getting used to, but I think if you can get into the story and you can begin to connect with some of the characters and sort of see their struggles and their strife and you can understand the world well enough to 
let yourself be immersed by it, then I think it's a really good read and I definitely enjoyed it. So I ended up giving this a four out of five stars and I will certainly be looking out for the rest of the books in this series. Um, I think there's two more that are out or maybe two more in the series, I'm not sure. But I'm really looking forward to seeing how the story continues and what happens next. I believe the next two are a lot longer than this one because this one's not too long. So I'm really interested in seeing what's going to happen next and it is a series I will 100% be continuing on with. If you guys have read this or you've heard of it, do let me know your thoughts because I would love to hear them. What did you think of the story, the characters, the world building in particular? I think that's definitely her strong point. And yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts. So thank you guys all for watching and I will see you all again soon in another video. Bye! Me and you gonna have a little chat about the